Hey everyone, Breach Day Chest here, and welcome to the Tundra Defense Guide. Tundra Defense Guide. So basically, we're gonna go over the basics, show you how to set up, and go through the just general tutorial of the Tundra Defense, and then we could look at some extras that you could uh, find on your own and figure out. So when you start your game, you'll be given a short description of just what you're in for and how to begin. First things first, we need to find a place to build. I figured a good nature area would be nice because in my heart, I'm truly a bird. I only fly away. Nelly Furtado. All building plans are located under the food section, so let's go there now and select our well. Oh, we can rotate with the left and right mouse keys, and you can switch in between rotation and distance mode with the Z button. Just hold that down, and on the top left of your screen, it'll say, We are now in distance mode. Congratulations, whoa. Hold down the E button, and we now have a well for small children to die in. Also, every once in a while, you'll be given a note at your well. You'll be notified on the top left of your screen. You've received a note in which you can walk to the well, hit the E button, and you will be given a note, which can lead you to these small quests, little fetch quests, where you can find blacksmiths or scavengers to take stuff off of raiders once they're dead. Next up is our boundary markers, or patrol markers, or logs, as I like to call them. These are going to be your boundaries for your town, along with where our guards patrol and our enemies appear. Alright, so let's go up to our food again. You can see we've got markers A, B, and C. I'm going to hit A and start walking away from your well. You'll notice there's a red glow on the marker, which means we can't build here. We have to go further further if we try to build right now it'll tell us if we're either too close or too far away so if you're too close go farther away if you're too far why don't you get back here buddy where are you going where this come on bud what, what are you doing at the right distance we're gonna get a green glow on our log that sounds disgusting you go ahead to build and just hold down the e button and boom you got a magical log. So, put down three of your other markers wherever you want, but it's best to put them away from each other in order for a better experience. You could go back to the uh, well, and then go back to uh, each different compass direction. That's what they're called, compass directions. There's no specific name for them. Shut up. Home sweet home. Right now, we get to build our house. Now, ain't that pretty? Place down your house, as in the previous builds. You go into food, and it says plans, and it says house. And you'll be notified we need to make a door now. So, select the door under food again, and place it to fit it on your house. Technically, you can place the door anywhere you want. But since we're sane, let's just put it on the front door so we can do that right and nice. If you go inside of your house, there's a few things. You got a bed treasure chest, a horn if you want to blow that, and you got a map. You can click on the map, it'll show you how to rebind the keys, what your current keys are, and you can reset raids as well. Next up, it's time to build your barracks and one patrol guard. That's right, build your barracks, and then after that, go up to the barracks and activate it with the E button. Go straight on down to perimeter guard, click on that, and then go to done, and let's take a look at our guard. Mmm, what a sexy woman. Oh, you're a dude. Okay, that's... All right, sorry about that. After this, construct your market and tell Soreo how he's failed in life. Everyone hates you and you sell buildings. How does that even work? And now we get to start our raid. Exciting. Hold the apostrophe button right down. And if you don't know what that looks like, you should have stayed in school. Next, our raid menu comes up. Let's select raid, bandit, and then easy raid. Now it's time to defend your tundra. Action, defending your raid. Action music, I said defending raids. So, once your raid is completed, you'll be given a little notice on the top left of your screen. You'll say, good job, I love you. And you'll be like, what? So now, whenever you want to start a raid, all you got to do is hit the apostrophe button and go to manage raids. Remember, there's a whole bunch of raids you could try out. We got bandit, dragger, dragons, nature, cultists. And giants as well. It's uh, it is quite a battle for your tundra. So now I'm gonna go into a little bit more advanced things. Let's head on over to the barracks and see what we can do. So as you can see, when we go to the barracks, we've got three types of guards. Ooh, we've got perimeter guards. That's the ones that we made before, and they walk around to those little logs and they hug each log and they say, "I love you, log." Next type of guard we got is stationary. These are guards that you can place anywhere. Think of them as turrets. Patrol guards. Now these are cool. These are like cops. You can put more logs in your city, and they'll walk around these little perimeters. So basically, the patrol guards are. 
kind of like your inner city police and you could put markers where you want them to go. Let's take a look at the upgrades for the barracks as well. As you can see, if we go to upgrades, we've got the first one is armory. What this means is you can switch out your guard's armor and give them some new armor. The medic tent, as you can see here, slowly heals your guards when they're not in the heat of battle and they're just twiddling their thumbs. The arcane tower allows you to build three different types of magical wizards including combat, conjuration, and illusion mages. Something. And last but not least, we got the dragon perch. Ooh, dragon perch. Basically, this allows you to get a flying dragon around your town. So just build that, boom, it's a big rock. You're like, where's my dragon? Boom, right up there. God darn dragon. So, uh, he'll help you during raids. He'll fly around, blow stuff up, and be like, yeah, I'm a dragon, what's up? Pretty cool. So let's take a look now at the market. Now, Soreo, he's a really nice guy. I grew up on the... Uh, Eastern sign of Skabandian. That's a town I made up. And uh, he, he mainly sells a lot of stuff. You can buy a lot of normal things like walls and gates and fireplaces and beds. But he's also got some pretty cool things like houses. These houses are pretty cool because you can place them and then you can get citizens to move in. Basically, you go to the house, hit activate, and then you'll have to buy the citizens in. Once you do that, they'll appear at the water well, and they'll walk around and do stuff. So if you've got a fireplace, or maybe a bed, or like some, some leather sheets or something, they'll start using them, and it uh, just gives you a little bit more life. Also, every day, I believe, they give you money. Oh my god. That's right. Top left of the screen, boom, you'll get a little tax thing. It'll be like, you've got taxes. And you'll you'll jump in the air and your citizens will look at you and they'll, they'll just be like, why do we live here? This is a horrible place to live. So, hope this has helped you guys out. Um, if you got any questions, put them in the comments and hopefully I'll answer them. Hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you in the future. Oh!